Absolutely. Get up and get your makeup out. J ladies. Like we're looking a little powdery. It's because we are. Don't worry. Trust the process. Welcome back to Carmen B TV, my side of the tube with you, because it's the tube with me where I share a little of my life a lot of the time. You guys know it's Wednesday, so I wanted to come because after the last video, y'all were literally on me about giving you guys a step-by-step -step makeup video. And when I look at my channel, I think I only have about two or three of those videos and they're dated at this point. Not that my routine has changed just that much, but I think as you get older and time goes by, you implement different products and all of those things. So I'm like, I'm going to do a chit chat, natural, clean girl makeup video with you guys. I hope you can enjoy and appreciate this. Um, I am going to try not to talk so, so much because I know there will be people that watch this that they just want to get the tutorial. You know what I'm saying? They just want it to happen. So, yes, I will be linking all the products that I use. Yes, I will show you the products on camera and I will, you know, I'll slow down the important parts for y'all so we can all get into it. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what I first like to do, brows, if y'all know me, I'm, I'm the brow queen, let me tell you. Like, I've been doing my brows for a very, very long time. I used to, back in the day, shave off my brows. Lord Jesus, my sister used to say she never thought my brows would grow back. We thank God, though. We thank God. Um, so I start off by using this NYX pencil. It's in the color Espresso, y'all. It's the micro brow pencil. I've used this pencil for years. I actually just purchased... I always have two of these pencils on me. Like, it's just, it's just a thing. This is what it looks like when you go to the store, baby. I always have two of these pencils on the deck. So what I like about this pencil, not only is the application in this pencil is actually great, but the dual use. So this brush, I just brush my hairs up just like that. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, I've been waiting on her to do a video. I'm not doing anything right now. Let me get up and get my makeup out. Absolutely. Get up and get your makeup out. Use what you have. Y'all will be surprised. I don't use a lot of high-end products, and I'll talk about that. Some products, you know, I don't skimp on, and some you can kind of, you know, you can make it do what it do. So I brush all the hairs up. That's all I do. I take this pencil. I draw a line under my natural brow. So y'all can see my natural brow shape, right? All I'm doing is drawing a line. So look at your natural brow shape. Don't try to make your brows like mine. Just look at your natural shape and create a line right directly under it. One line, you see that? It already looks more defined than that one. Just one little line, soft now. We ain't, we ain't, hit, we ain't being heavy handed, just one line. Do the same thing. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I do right here. For some reason, I'm like missing you know, brow hairs and that's where I like my arch to be. So I start like right in there and I just kind of create like a little fake arch, but it's still a line, right? So right there and then I just, I don't bring that line all the way, you know, over here because I like that natural, the natural hair look, but right up in there. So once you got your line on the bottom, your line on top, brush up with the, the, the um, eyebrow pencil, just light hair strokes. So I'm not heavy handed, I'm just being light, very light with it. Especially where the natural, where my hairline is at the front of my brow. Back here, you can be a little, you know, you can go a little darker if you please, if you please. Now what I will say, you'll notice, I always go back in my eyebrows after I do like my setting powder and stuff like that because all of the fallout. But basically, this is about, this is about what I want. Y'all see my, my arch? What I was talking about? Okay. Same thing. What did I say? Draw a line directly under your natural brow. Brush them hairs up. Up, 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 up. Boom. This brow be eating. I'm sorry. Sis, sis don't need much. Did I not draw a line on the top? I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I forget. Like I said, it's a little scarce right up in there where I want my arch to be. So I do try to like feel that, you know, boom. Okay. 
like I said, I go a little darker towards the end. I don't stress out about my brows at the beginning. Like, this is no product on my face, nothing. So, I always go back. Okay. So, I use the lip bar at this point in time. Now, this, whatever concealer you have works for this, right? So, I use the lip bar concealer. And I'm not saying whatever concealer you have. But the concealer that you would usually use for your skin tone will work to carve out your brows. So, I'm using the lip bar. They're black at home. And I'm using the color cinnamon. And that's what I'm going to use to actually go under my brow and kind of give it the real shape. So maybe you don't feel like your line is like all that perfect. And don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. You can clean it up. And what I will say, start with a clean, fresh brow. Like more times than not, I have a little, I keep a razor on me. Hold on, let me show y'all. I keep one of these on me from the beauty supply store. I'm always going back and cleaning up my eyebrow hairs because I love a fresh brow. Now y'all may be like, it's not really, you don't have any hairs. I, I know, I just always, I like a clean brow. That's just me personally. So if you're watching this and you want the best, you want your brows to look their absolute best, go ahead and invest in a little dollar razor or something and start practicing. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's, that's, that's the best thing I can say, Cheap, the cheapest way. Start practicing, take your time. If it's a new razor, you need to be a little careful. So anyway, I use this angle brush. I think I got this from the beauty supply store. And I take the tip and I literally just, this is just my own preference. I just kind of, you know, brush, brush this on both sides, right? So it's flat. It's a flat brush. You need a flat brush for this. Can y'all see? Flat brush. Okay. All I'm going to do is lay this flat brush right under that line. Like some people can do it on top. It, that's a little nuance. So if you wanted to do it on top, you could. If you wanted to do it a little below, you can uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get as close to the line as I can. So let me get closer to y'all so y'all can see. And I'm literally just tracing that line. But also, I'm going to kind of curve right up in here. Because that's where I like my brow to curve. And then bring it back out. Like that. Okay. Simple. So then with the same side, just bring it down just a little bit. You want all of it to be like a seamless, smooth. You don't need any, you know, lumps in the foundation, I mean, in the concealer. So what I like to do then is I go at the top of my brow. I kind of place that concealer. Cause again, I try to leave this to be as natural as it can. So I'm, I really be working back here. Where the arch is. And just draw it down. And you see, it's not that any no product is there. It's just I'm just kind of using the leftover. So then I brush up. Brush up. Brush down. Boom. Okay. And then immediately after, I don't like to let this sit too long. Um, have a paper towel near you too. Have a paper towel near you. Um, I just take a little brush like this and just kind of, I need to, should have cleaned this brush, but let's just work with me. Uh, take a brush like this and I just blend that into my skin as much as I can. Of course, foundation will go on top of this. So, you know, trust the process. Okay. That's brow number one. Same thing for brow number two. Get a little more product. And I promise, after brows, we'll probably go a little faster than this, y'all. If you already know how to do your brows, I understand if you fast forward, but a lot of people write me about brows. So I want y'all to see me do it in real time with no edit. As much as possible. See, right under there, bring it down. Okay, turn this brush around, lay it flat. Just follow that natural, what you did. I clean this brush, so I say keep a paper towel on you. 
Because when I go back and like lift this part up, I don't want any excess product. So it's a clean, essentially clean brush. So I took all that product off. Because if I didn't do that, there were times I didn't. It would just be too much product, y'all. So bring this down. Bring this down. Take the same brush. Blend all of that as much as you can. So y'all see what's going on? This is how I get a seamless brow. Just that's it, that's it. Now I do have on, I just put on, I just did a video for the Impress uh, Lashes by Kiss. So I do have on lashes. So on this video, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys like how I apply my lashes because I already have them on. And I have some on, so sorry about that. Okay, so I take this same concealer that I just used for under my brow and I coat my lids. It's important for you to coat your lids because clearly my lids are now darker than my under eye. We want to have a seamless, um, we want it to be seamless. And yes, I do this before, you know, foundation and stuff. So that's the next thing I do. Put a little bit. Oh, a lot of it. I mean, whatever your person says, but you don't need that much. And literally just. Just like that. Again, that's the lip bar concealer. So we've only used two products so far. We use the NYX brush, and then we use the, the lip bar concealer. You can get that brush under, what, $10, I believe. The concealer probably is under 12 maybe under 10 But don't quote me, but I'll make sure to link it in the description bar. And I like to get these products from Ulta. It's like a one-stop shop for me. Okay, so now we're probably about to begin into it. I go in wants to run when I do my makeup, always, okay? So now you wanna take, I'm using the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. I love this stuff. Get you a primer. I don't even really think it matters. There was so long where I wasn't even wearing primer, so I can't just say I'm like a primer guru, but I love this stuff for sure. So I put some on my forehead, where all my cheeks are, to where I really kinda my nose, I put my lip, and I just, you know. On my forehead. It's so hydrating. Sometimes I may take a little extra. Go under my eyes. Okay. What you wanna do is let this dry. Let this dry. And I'll tell you what you should be able to do if it's really dry. So I take a little fan and I just let it dry. And so let that dry for a minute. And what I mean when I say it should be dry, you'll know if it's dry, if you can take your primer. It should be able to stick to your face, just like this. Just like this. That means it's dry. And I got high cheekbones and they're going up and down and it's still sticking. Mm-hmm, we can wait, we can wait. Basically gotta pry it off, okay? So, let's get into it. We still have only used, now we've used three products. We've added the primer. We're going back to that second product that we use. I like to go and we call this like spot correct, color correct. It's not, it's not really a color corrector. I would rather have like an orange or something, but I still use it. And I have dark under eyes. So I like to put a little under my eyes. How did I go into them like that? And then my lip, and that's really it. Like that's the main places. So I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. And yeah, I'll let that dry down a little bit. So then I'm gonna go in with a Real te Techniques brush. This is the brush 402, I love it. I'll be using this. 
a lot, like throughout this process. I'll switch back and forth these if I can't get this through. This is blending. If you're watching this or if you're doing it yourself, don't look at yourself too too long. It comes together. Got to give it some time, baby. Okay, this is how you're looking. This is how you're looking. Okay, okay. So let's go into foundation. I have recently been loving this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Foundation, and I am in the color Tan Deep number six. What I really love about this foundation is hydrating, but not even yet. I love this applicator. Like, maybe I'm old school, but I ain't never had no foundation with applicator like this. So basically, I'm just gonna go in with this foundation, and I'll speed this part up because, you know, y'all can watch. Okay, baby, one thing, I forgot to lay my little edge down. It's just a pro tip to do that before you get all that makeup. Um, I mean, just a little pro tip. I'm sorry, I was trying to get them on here. Especially that one. Like, that one is the main one that I need to be with. Just in case I decide to do a, a wrap around. <laughs> okay. Always try to put that edge control on before you get going. I like to do the behind the ear situation, so it's very important to me, especially when I don't even want to do my lead out. This ain't got nothing to do with makeup, y'all. Nothing. But it really do though. It's it's beauty all around beauty. Okay, you want to make sure you ain't you ain't neglecting this part. Put the edge control on, cause this would have been a mess. Okay, okay, y'all see what's happening. The other side, I ain't got that many edges. So, okay, let's get back to foundation. All right, for foundation, what you want to make sure is that you are coming down to your neckline, under your chin, that forehead. I be seeing why people don't put makeup on their forehead. Why y'all don't do that? I wonder. I got to put the foundation on my forehead. I don't put as much up there, but. So this is the foundation. I think it's a good match. I literally have just been using this and I love it. Okay. Okay. So well, we've used four products now. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some cap. Brows, concealer, foundation, primer. Yes, four products. Going back to that second product we used, I go in. This is where, this is my way and probably a lot of people probably don't do it like this, but that's okay. We all have our own ways. Um, so I go back in with the lip bar concealer and I start with it in this inner corner of my eye. Like right there. Corner of my nose. I come up in the middle of my brow. So that's really gonna define that brow, the front of that brow. Bring it over like a little cross, just right above the brow. Which is why I wasn't tripping about putting so much over there. Nose, same thing, okay? But that's not it. I take the Too Faced, it's a little lighter, I think. Maybe it's not. It's warm sand. I feel like it's a little lighter. And I go under my eye as well. Kind of let them meet a little bit. And I bring it just up, just like that. Okay. And I do the same thing over here. I bring it up just like that. 
okay? You're going to let this dry. So let's let it dry and I'll come back. Okay, so we let it sit for a little minute. And now we're just gonna blend this down and out. Again, this is the 402 brush, by the way. You wanna let that concealer dry so you have some color payoff. It's not all being picked up by the brush. And I do like to bring it up just a little bit. You won't really see that once I get to blending and stuff up. Okay. There. Same thing over here. It's been so long since I've done a like since I've done a video like in real time. But this brush is just magic. Get this brush. I got it from Ulta, 402 brush. Okay, I'm gonna speed y'all up. Down inside me, I'm not gonna shake. Been stressed for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Okay, I had got something in my eye. So, now that I have all this blended, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a forewarning now. I like a bright under eye. I have dark under eyes. I have bags. I, when I put on makeup, I want to look lifted, high and lifted up, amen. <laughs> so this is just it all just blended out, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna go do now is go in, I've been using L, L products lately from my last recent Ulta haul. I'm gonna go in with their blush in the Coral Crush color. And I'm a blush girl as well. So this is what I'm about to do. Go on with that blush. If you ain't a brush, blush girl, apply one dot. If you're scared, if it's too much, one dot will be good to you. I didn't always wear liquid blush, so I understand. If it's too much, one dot. But what I'm gonna do also is go back in. So this is five products now, or six products at this point, six probably. Go back in with that Too Faced. I like a, a bright under eye, so I, I put a little, you know, Maybe it's a lot to you, but if you don't want to do this step, you do not have to. If you're okay with how you were lifted already, because I'm already pretty much lifted, that's totally fine. I need a little more. I go in with a brush like this, a little flat brush, and I start with the blush first. So I got high cheekbones, and I like to bring that blush down a little bit right on that cheek and up. And you'll see how the concealer is gonna blend so seamlessly with the blush. So if you would have started, if you would have just did what you did already, you probably would have wanted to put the concealer. You will do this same step um, first. So if you aren't gonna add, it, the only reason why I did the blush right now, how about making sense? It's because I knew I was gonna add more concealer so it could blend into. But if you knew you were only gonna do one concealer. When you did that first round of concealer, go ahead and put the blush there first and start blending in the blush. So while you're blending the blush, the concealer is drying and you can just kind of move seamlessly like that. So yeah. I like blush. This is great. Elf, this, pay, this color payoff, great, okay? I love blush, okay? So I'm gonna let the under eye dry just a little more because I kind of move fast and then blend it all together and we'll see, we'll come back. Okay, and so the products I've used so far are pretty cost efficient. With the exception, I guess it depends on how you define cost efficient. The most expensive thing I've used so far has been that Too Faced concealer. It may be $20 for the full bottle, full bottle, 24, 26, somewhere around there. It's worth it though, it is worth it. Um, Everything else you can get for under $10, even that blush is $8. So I'm gonna go back in with this brush, the 402 brush. I'm just gonna blend that Too Faced concealer down. Right on top of that, kind of like I had it before. You see? Mm, my God, it's a seamless blend. 
stay with me. If you're new to makeup and you know this seems like a lot, stay with me. Stay with me, baby. Same thing on this side. So y'all are in real time seeing like how I'm like buffing this out, which is why this is another part I just wanted to keep at regular speed. Just get this brush. Y'all seen how many times I use it. Get this brush. Okay, so what I like to do is take one of these little triangular things. I like to take the bottom of it and just really get in those. I don't want any harshness. So I try to get it in the corner, use the bottom, get right up in here. Same on this side. Okay. Okay, so I take my paper towel, kind of clean this brush. Now we're gonna get into a more expensive product. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I swear by it. My setting powders is something that I spend my money on. I also have the one size. Um, so that's where you can splurge a little bit because it's worth it. You know what I mean? Make sure you have a good setting powder. So I'm gonna use Laura Mercier for the sake of this video because I definitely grab it out of just creature of habit more than I grab the one size, but the one size is great as well. Um, I'll find this again. Like I said, I like to just to make sure it's all like as flat as it can be. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I like to pat the front and the back of this brush. Pat out the excess. That's just what I do. Whoa. Okay, and go right under there. And this, my friends, is what we call setting the cream. So we're just setting. Where we put creams, we're setting it in place. I'll be back. Okay, so we haven't touched our legs in a long time, so I'll take this brush and just kind of like, cause if it, I have hooded eyelids, so it'll probably crease more than likely. And then same thing, let's just come back and put this on your lids. Okay, I kind of went OD a little bit. I always feel like I do, but so this is what you're gonna look like. This you're gonna look like. So you may have noticed, um, actually before I do that part, let's go ahead and I use, this is what the setting product. This is the lip bar. It's a face powder, but I use it as my lids. I don't do eyeshadow. For the sake of this video, it's a clean girl look, all of that. Take a little face powder that matches your skin. And I use this as eyeshadow. And I put this all over my lid, which is gonna bring the color back from where that translucent powder was. If there's fallout underneath, it doesn't matter because it's a face powder, so. It doesn't matter. Y'all, we almost done. If you got this far, you literally were almost done. Seriously. Especially because I already have on lashes. I know people, they be asking me to show them how to do their lashes. Y'all may be a little mad at me. Maybe I'll do a video just on lashes, the lash application. Comment below right now while I'm coating my lids. If you're someone that want to know how to put on lashes and if you think I should do a dedicated video just for that. It'll be super short, <laughs> okay? Okay, so got that there. Now, what I was about to say is you may not, you may have noticed that I did not use any cream contour. I don't cream contour. I haven't found the perfect product that I like yet. So I use this Anastasia with this the eighth product. I do not skimp on this product. So the setting spot powder, I spend my money on that. This, oh, sorry y'all. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the color Mahogany. That's the color that I use. Y'all see, I swear by this. This is on rotation like every quarter. Right under where I put that blush, this is what brings that color back. So you may be watching this like, ooh, it's a lot of lightness going on. Baby, this Anastasia is going to bring your color back. So I go on the perimeters of my face with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
like I said, I do not skip on this product. However much it is, for however long, you know, it's, I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend it. Like I said, I don't cream. I don't use cream contour. This is really like that clean girl. It's not that you can't get the clean girl aesthetic if you, you know, if you use cream contour. Don't, don't, don't read me wrong, okay? But I'm just saying, I don't do it. I haven't done it. When I get my makeup done, my makeup artist definitely does it, and I love how she does it. That's just something that I feel like I need to do. I need to learn a little bit. So then I'm going to go back in with this brush that I used to coat my lid. I'm just going to wipe it off. Keep a paper towel near, baby. Keep a paper towel near. So I'm just going to take this. And this is the part that really makes it make a difference. Go in right in there. The corner of that nose. I really like up in here, the eye, more than I just like the nose, but it just really gives that little, that depth. Y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. Okay. So remember when I told y'all I would always go back over my brow? This is the part where I, where I do that. So we're still at the seven products. Good seven, seven or eight, I don't know. I don't want to count. Brush my brows back up. It's almost like I'm starting from the beginning, but clearly I'm not because they they have hair. So it's not like they're just bad, you know? It's just, I like to go and redefine that line. Be very colorful because at this point, you don't want to go back and add any more creams. You're just really defining the brow. Go back up in here. like that if you don't feel like you have to do this part or you don't want if you don't want your brows to be any darker that's fine I just I need my brows to be the main attraction amen okay they sisters I mean they cousins or whatever y'all be saying they ain't they ain't twins okay so then the same <clears throat> brush <clears throat> that I use with the bronzer. I just wipe all of this off. Get all of this off. If you feel like we're looking a little powdery, it's because we are, <laughs> but we got like two more steps. So this palette is a mess, clearly. I like to go in with this little, like a dark brown color. It don't, I'm not really showing the palette because it doesn't matter. But I like to go in with a dark brown color and just literally give my eyes a little dip. And so I just, I don't wear eyeliner. When we say clean girl aesthetic, clean girl makeup, this will be me, okay? And I literally just go under there. Y'all see? Okay. Just like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the e.l.f. Mist. What's this, nine, 10 products with this one? And I'm just gonna bring some life back to my face. I know y'all see life coming back. Then I'm gonna go in with the milk, just a little bit of that. And then take my fan. We got lips to do. A little more powder brush. And then we're going to be done, y'all. Y'all see? Y'all see? Life should be... You should have life now, amen? Don't worry. Trust the process. Okay, so what I'll do... I have some Laneige lip mask on there, so dry my lips. I go in with the N, the NYX. NYX or NYX, whatever you call it, in the color Deep Walnut. This is actually a concealer or a contour. This is a, yeah, contour concealer. But I use it as lip liner because it stays better. And I just line my lips with this. Deep Walnut works best for me. All 
I don't really like my lip liner to dry down black. And that's what I learned sometimes when I use like deep espresso. So this is the particular one I like. So I let my lips dry just a little bit because when I put my lipstick on, I don't want it to mix that much. And I sometimes I'm rushing and I make it like it mixes just whatever. But today for the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna use a brush to apply it exactly where I want it to be. So just gonna, and this is, oh, sorry. This is Lady Juvia's Place Ladies Lipstick. I have another one. I just purchased this one, but this one, I use this one when I'm like carving it out, so. Not my eye water and betraying me. Wow. I'm wondering, I'm like, is there a crease going on over there? Sometimes my eyes water, y'all. Anyway. We're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna get take this and just place it, place it where I want it to be. You see, the alternative is me just sliding on my lips and it, it blending in and looking like I have smoker's lips and I can't, I can't go for that. Okay, so trust the process. I know, I know. Again, this product is cost efficient. Both of these, like the lipstick is probably like eight, nine dollars. So now, let's pack. Looking for another brush all this time. Mm -hmm. The same brush I use for my brows, just clean up. So now I'm gonna take the actual, you know, and roll it right in the center. And lately, I've been using the Makeup by Mario. Now, this is a lip plumper. It's six, it's twenty four dollars. So you don't have to do this if you don't want. You could just use a regular NYX gloss. But I'm gonna use this. Place it right on top. Cause I love that new. And then sometimes I go back and I just define the line of the lip a little more. Give me a minute. I'm gonna let that dry down and then blend it back. One second. And because I'm a blush girl, I go back in with MAC Raisin. It's a powder blush and use that same brush that I used earlier to apply it do that and then what I'm gonna do is I'll do some bottom mascara and then I'll show y'all the finished product and if you want to add a little razzle dazzle this is the Judy's Places blush you can put it up your nose like that and a little bit under your brow Like that. And make sure everything is seamless. I'm gonna use this one size setting spray. This is more like a fixing spray. Okay, so what do y'all think? This is literally how I achieve my beats give or take like literally this is what i do i go in different lighting and kind of look at myself make sure i'm right but this is it i hope this is helpful y'all so comment below and let me know if this is what y'all were looking for let me know if y'all want me to do other videos that are like concentrated whether that's you know particularly lashes or just whatever but i think this beat came out super good also also, also if you watch this entire video 
you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You know I'm your girl. This is my side of the two of you where I share a lot of me. No, I'm kidding. It's my side of the two of you where I share a little of my life a lot of the time. Two of you because it's the two of me, Carmen BTV. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, you know what to do. Comment below and let me know you were tuning in. We dream but of things being alright. But we freeze when it's all up to us.